Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I guess my uh, video every day in July idea has gone down the tubes. Uh, it's, it's gotten far enough now that there's just no way it's going to happen. Uh, I'd have to make two and three videos a day to be able to get caught up and that would just be too forced. So I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to attempt a video every day in August. And perhaps by deciding that now, this far ahead of August, and so on, then perhaps I can plan for that and actually do it. Because I really do want to do a video every day in August. I, I like this video every day thing, you know, do it a month at a time, or maybe two months at a time, or something like that, and get that going. Anyway. I'm going to get there. And also, uh, there's new Hermitcraft up, there's new Hermitcraft FTB up. Tomorrow I'm looking for a new uh, Kerbal Space Program to be up. By the way, Kerbal Space Program is going to be releasing version 0.24 really soon, which is going to include contracts. They're calling that edition First Contract, and that's going to be interesting contracts and budgets and so on where uh, when you build a ship you actually have to have the budget to afford the parts to build it with in addition to having the science to unlock those parts yeah that's gonna be an adventure I really think so Kerbal Space Program spreadsheet edition <laughs> all right maybe it didn't quite anyway onward to the subject of the title of this video living with tinnitus now tinnitus or tinnitus, as it is sometimes pronounced, is a fancy name for the thing that a lot of people just call ringing in the ears. And I personally can't help but to wonder why it's called ringing in the ears, because it doesn't sound like ringing to me. But then again, that might just be me, because it's a subjective thing. It, it is a sound that you hear, or that some people, here in their ears. It is not a physical sound. There is no physical cause for the sound. There's no sound waves causing it. It is caused by uh, some nerve thing between the ears and the brain where the sound is received or processed. It's basically a false signal, a spurious signal of noise that just happens to be in the range that you can perceive. Uh, tinnitus not all people who have it have it all the time sometimes it shuts down and they don't hear it for a while sometimes there are various triggers that will start it going which could be literally almost anything from stress to whatever or getting hit in the head can cause it or you know any kind of thing like that in my case i was born with it I was nine years old before I finally figured out that everybody else couldn't hear that. And that's because I said something about it and the person I was talking to looked at me like I was crazy. And it didn't take much to figure out that they couldn't hear it. Whatever it was, I didn't know at the time, you know, that, but they couldn't hear it. I could hear it, but they couldn't. And, uh, anyway, you see, this is a factor with me when it comes to editing video, and in particular editing and trying to do noise removal on the sound portion of videos. A lot of people have said a lot to me about how there is noise and whatnot in the background of my videos, and I do the best I can to remove it, but a lot of that noise I can't hear. And the reason I can't hear it is because tinnitus is drowning it out. Now to give you a little bit of an idea, I have made an arrangement using Audacity to create several tones that approximate what tinnitus sounds like to me. Starting right now, this is what it's like for me trying to hear things because I have to hear it over that screaming. There are about four or five tones. They vary in intensity, they vary in volume, 
they vary in uh, the frequency of warbles, which I didn't put in there because I really am not up to that kind of sound engineering. But it, it warbles and it flutters, and sometimes there's a sound of white noise, sometimes there's a sound of bacon going over it, and so on. Yeah. So that's what it's like to be me trying to hear things. And I was told by a hearing specialist once that the sound is in fact something that originates in the nerves. It actually originates in the brain and the wiring inside. They don't really know what causes it, which is one of the reasons they can't cure it. They don't know what causes it. But he told me, in telling me that that was uh, in the brain wiring and in the nerves, he said that even if I were to have my inner ears surgically removed along with the nerve that hooks them up to the brain, that I would still hear that sound. Now, I only asked you to listen to it for 15 seconds. Imagine spending 55 years listening to that sound, knowing that you're always going to hear it. If you live to be a million years old, if you go stone physically deaf, that will be the only sound you will ever hear, and it will never stop. Imagine living like that. And so next time you hear some static or some noise in the background of my game videos or whatever, do me a favor. Remember this, and cut me some slack. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'm